Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video is going to be a nickel and a dime hunt. I also doing a penny hunt, but that's also going to be a separate video. If you may notice some rolls are missing, that's because my boyfriend wanted to open some rolls and I didn't capture that. In the third row, there was a 1941. Um, I didn't see anything else in the row, so we're just going to move on to the next row and I will pull you guys in if I see anything else. I noticed in some of these rows, there are really scratched up coins, like they look like they've been in the parking lot for a long time. They're all scratched up. They even look cleaned. Okay, so we're on row 6 and I found a 1941. Nothing else in the row, but I'll put you guys in if there's anything else. Okay, so we're in row 8 and I found another oldie, 1946. Um, no mint mark in the back, but like I said, I will pull you guys in if I see anything else. Alrighty, so we are on row 9 and I found two finds. I found a 1941S and also a 1955D. Alright, so the next row, I found a 1940 plane. I don't see anything in the row, but uh, I will bring you guys in if I see anything else. Alrighty, so we're about row 17, and I just found another 1940 plane. Just looking in the rest of the row if there was anything else. I don't really see anything, but I'll bring you guys in if I see anything else. So we are about halfway, and finally I find my first foreign coin. It's been a while since I found a foreign coin. Um, it is a Canadian coin from the year 1998, so that was pretty cool. I also found a couple other like 50s coins, like a 52, a 54. Um, I can't really see it, so I will just show you guys in the wrap up. Alrighty, going a little bit further into the box, um, just found my second foreign. It is another Canadian from 1999, I believe. 1996, excuse me. Um, and also found a couple of other like cool finds. I found this 1941, this really scratched up coin that you can't even read the date. And I found another 1953 that is a plane. I don't see anything in the box, but I will loop you guys back in if I see anything else. Okay, finished that box of nickels, and this is the wrap up found two Canadians, a couple 40s, uh, quite a few 41s, um, I did find a 46, a couple 50s, um, no buffaloes, no war nickels. I did find this really nice 1958, um, it still has quite a bit of luster, it is a plane, but uh, yep, now we're going to get onto the dimes. As you can see, two are missing, don't worry, they didn't jip me, as my boyfriend just wanted to open a couple and I let him, but yeah, we're just going to get started on the dimes and if I see anything, I'll pull you guys in. Alright, so we're about, I don't know, like 10 rows in and I find my first 
silver looking coin. So we're just gonna pull it out and see what it is live. It is a foreign coin from Ecuador. I don't get many coins from Ecuador, so that is a pretty cool find. I don't know if it's silver. It is from the year 2000. Um, just went through the other coins to see if there was anything else. Alrighty, so we're about halfway in the box. The box is pretty slow, but I did find my second silverish looking coin. So we're just going to pull it out live and see what it is. Doesn't look like it's a US coin. Oh, it's Canadian. Yep, I do get quite a bit of Canadians, but um, that's my second only find. I did find all these like three like metal detecting looking coins, but I don't see anything else in the roll. Alright, just finished that box of dimes and nothing, not one silver. But I guess that's all part of the game. So I'm just going to show you my finds. I did find two foreign coins and about like five like of these like weird colored metal detecting coins. But um, yep, just two foreign coins. At least they're not from the same country. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe down below if you aren't already. And comment down below if you also hunt dimes and nickels. Remember, I have a giveaway going on, on my channel. So make sure you check that video out. And I will see you guys in the next one.